Okay, well, <clears throat> on Fridays generally, or the last day of the work week in some cases, um, we uh, have to do our working grades. And in this particular class, there's a great deal of your uh, uh, grade is on your work habits. And uh, furthermore, I have uh, the students do self-grading. So we would normally in the physical classroom hand out a, a form such as this, and then you would... Uh, complete that form based on these five areas and you're going to grade them from each area is worth two points so your grading scale is from zero meaning you didn't really fulfill the the requirements of that category uh, to two meaning that's you know happy face up there that's the most you can get in any category so if you were two four six eight and ten that would be ten would be a perfect model student score based on these five um, items that you have to be able to fill every week now, you can either create a Word document like this, if you'd like to, and then uh, on uh, Fridays or the end of the uh, week, I will, uh, in the Google Classroom, I will make an announcement at the top of the page indicating that we're going to do daily work grades. And that would be your cue to fill this thing out, if you make it in a, a Word document, and then send it in to me. Uh, or you can make a physical one of these and then you can photograph it or scan it and fill it in, take a photo of it and send it to me each week uh, when I call for work grades. So we're going, I'm going to show you how to make one of these on your own and then we're going to go through and kind of do the scoring. So what I'm going to do is move this over here seeing how I am right handed. And uh, what we've got here is simply half a piece of notebook paper. You can cut it in half with scissors, or you can uh, just tear it carefully if you understand what you were doing. Um, now, uh, most notebook paper has a red line where the holes are at on it. So what we're simply going to do, and I'm going to use a soft leaded pencil for this to help you do this, but we're simply going to draw right on that line, okay, nice and bold on there, all right? And that marking uh, should be visible to almost everybody. And then at the top of, on top of that right there, we're going to write your name in there. Okay, and it's got a colon after it, so you can actually just write on that line. I'm going to bold that line up again because it's messing with me. So I want you all to be able to see what it is we're doing here. So we simply just use one ruler with or on that red line to make that. And then the period that you're in uh, is also helpful when I have to record grades. So if you're in first, second, third, fourth, seventh, or eighth period, simply put it there, okay? Now, we're going to uh, just come down about this far. It doesn't have to be very far, about like that. And we're going to put in this daily working grade uh, information right there and also a place for the date. So right up here underneath period we're going to put the date. Now it's important because the daily work grades do have a date associated with them. And if you've checked progress book at all then you've already seen that we have an assignment uh, daily working grade coming up. And then we'll simply write in there in large letters daily working. Now we do these once a week. I understand that we don't do this every day but we do a summation of it once a week and daily working grade. So as you can see, it doesn't have to be a thing of beauty. It simply has to be something that we can understand. Now, <clears throat> below that, we've got a double line. So all of these are kind of drawing projects. Even making your own worksheet out is a drawing project. So we strike that line in there, so we've got this one right here. And now we're going to uh, go down, oh, maybe a ruler width wide. Uh, if you have a skinnier ruler, I'm just going to estimate at this point and I see about right here is probably about correct. Okay, and then we'll do this part. Now we're going to do this work in between here, which is the grading scale. So if you decide to scan this, then you can print one every week and fill in the information. Now down here, of course, we've got the sad face performances. And up here we have the happy face performances. So these are high grades, where these are low grades. Now we're going to make what appears to be a timeline, if you're familiar with your, what you do in social studies. So we're going to about right here somewhere, just below our happy and sad faces. We're going to draw a horizontal line, goes over to here, and then we're going to put a nice arrowhead on one end, a nice arrowhead on the other end like this, indicating we can go up and down the scale. Right in the middle of this will be 1.0.
1 if you want to do it that way. Uh, and then we're going to divide this here and here, two marks. Same thing over here, two marks going in the other direction. And so this will be 1.5, which is one of your options, or 2, which is also one of your options. Down here we've got a 0.5, that's not so good. And then of course we have a 0 for people who just won't do anything in class, and they should be honest with themselves and the people around them. Okay, now we've got another, it looks like a double line, so I'm just going to lower my ruler a bit, and I'm going to draw in that other portion of the double line. Now, what we've got to do now is make this series of boxes. Now, for your particular piece, I don't see why we can't just uh, come down, you know, kind of line it up with the D up here, I suppose, in your period boxes, or in this area here where you write in what period number you're in. And we'll just go and strike a, a nice dense line, Oop, excuse me, all the way to about right here. I got a little bit carried away there. I get carried away sometimes. Okay. There we go. And we can just, I'm going to dust that off to don't get so uh, enthusiastic about it like I did. And now we've just got to simply uh, write out what these one, two, three, four, five. So we're just going to arrange five bullet points, one above the other here. So we just, uh, I happen to see this uh, uh, line on the paper right here, so I'll go one, two, three, four, five. And that will give me a place where I can make yet another line. So this line will be about right here, looks like. And then we'll uh, just, we're going to draw stripes off. So this is this line right here. Now, all we've got to do and we're just going to draw lines that go all the way across the paper at this point. So we're going to go halfway between our bullet points off the paper. Same thing again, halfway between the bullet points off the paper. One more time, halfway between the bullet points off the paper and then halfway between the bullet points again all the way to the edge and then also this one right here we do need to extend that line. Normally that would have been longer than that. Okay, now <clears throat> we've got uh, a line down here, and we'll write in student total down here just to make sure that we are in the uh, right place. Student total. Okay, so we'll just draw another little box right there. In fact, we could probably just draw a line all the way across it, like this. Okay, so now we've got our student total. Now, that puts us right here, and the student total is, we're just basically saying it equals adding all these up. So let's go back up to the top and label this out. So use of time. Okay. And then the next one is production rate. And then the next wing, next one is positive. And then interactions, meaning with your classmates and your and your uh, teacher. Interactions. And then follows rules like are you in time for class? Do you talk when I'm talking? Everything that was in the rules video and uh, disorderly conduct. Do you have a, do you engage in disorderly conduct? That kind of thing. Okay, follows rules. And then lastly, and this may take up a little bit more space, is called application. Of principles. P-L-E-S. Okay, now it looks to me like underneath where it says student total, there's another double line. So we'll just double line that up. And then that brings us to the teacher's grade, which is down here. If I think I feel the need to change your grade, if I don't think you're being completely honest with yourself. Okay, and I'm just going to put a square right there. Doesn't have to be a thing of beauty, just a square. And then lastly would be 
uh, notes, I'm going to put a bullet point here and a bullet point here about your daily working grade if I changed it for some reason or another. This is an abbreviation, means about daily working grade. And that's where I would write a message back to you if I had an issue with uh, the way you were doing your work. Okay, so we've got pretty much the exact same thing from here to here. Now all we're really going to do, the reason that there's a plus sign there, is because you take this and you add it to this, and then you add this to it as well, and then you add this to it, and then you add this to it, and that equals whatever goes down here. Okay, uh, so we've got use of time, production rate, positive interactions, follows rules, application of principles, and then the total, even though down here it shows this block is filled in because it took two lines up. All right, now how do we do our grade? Uh, well, for daily work, uh, your summation at the end of the week is uh, a reflection of your work habits. So you have to ask yourself on a scale, each one of these is worth two points. So on a scale of zero to two, how do you use your time? Did you uh, watch the video, uh, follow the directions, and work hard to keep up with uh, the uh, projects? If you say yes, absolutely, well that's good. So give yourself a two in that category. Uh, production rate is, are you able to get the projects and the notes and the assignments done on time? And if the answer is, well, I'm kind of still struggling to get my notes done and the uh, project is going kind of fast for me, I'm not quite keeping up, but most of the way, well, then you probably should just take off a half point point, give yourself like a 1.5. Uh, positive interactions. Normally this is in the physical classroom, but you'll just have to ask yourself this if you're doing an e-lesson or making it up. Do you get along with your classmates in a positive manner? Do you get along with your teacher in a positive manner? And if the answer is yes, everybody loves me, then you would give yourself a two. If you're a kid that doesn't quite, you know, always get along with others uh, or, you know, maybe has conflict periodically with teachers, well then, that doesn't make you a bad person, but you do need to be honest about that behavior. And if you say, well, you know, I've had some positive interactions most of the time, but sometimes maybe not. So then maybe take off, be honest with yourself, and take off a half a point, for instance. Uh, follows rules. Do you get to class on time? Do you talk when I'm trying to explain things to others? Uh, do you uh, participate in disorderly conduct? Uh, do you physically push and shove other people, which is against the uh, physical contact rules? Uh, so ask yourself those questions. And so if you follow those rules, if you're always on time for class, if you don't engage in physical conduct with others, pushing, shoving, and horseplay, uh, if you, uh, you know, don't speak when I'm trying to explain things to the class and ask questions later, uh, that's really good. So you should say, yes, I'm a model student in that respect. I, I, uh, I abide by the rules of the school and also of the classroom. An application of principles is when I show you how to do something kind of complicated and you're able to go back to your own desk and work on it and not have to be in reading instructed about it. Uh, that would be application of principles. Me showing you how to do something, you going back to your desk and being able to do it. So if I showed you how to make the letter N or the letter Y or uh, how to make a circle with a compass and you could go back and successfully do that yourself then you, that makes you, that means you're applying the principle. So in this case, let's say I taught you how to make one of the letters and you really, really struggled with it, maybe something like the letter N, uh, then you know you would not be able to apply that principle, so you probably should give yourself like a 1.5. Now we add all that up, and this is 2, 3.5, 5, 6, 7, 8.5. Now, if my knowledge of you told me that you actually worked harder than that, I would either bump your grade up, or if my knowledge of you told me, from my experience with you, that you weren't working very hard at all, and you gave yourself an 8.5 out of 10, then I would actually have to lower that grade. So you add it all up, and that's how you do your daily working grade. Take a photograph of it, and then uh, send it back to me, or scan it. Thanks!